Hello YouTube. This is a quick video uh, in response to questions about whether Jupiter has uh, tilted on its axis. There have been some pictures being posted um, which show Jupiter before and after photos. They show Jupiter on one date uh, tilted one way and they show Jupiter on another date tilted another way and the claim has been made that uh, Jupiter has uh, tilted on its axis for some reason. Some people are blaming uh, Nibiru, other people are linking it to 21st December and other people have other explanations. Um, so we're going to have a look and see if we can um, see what's going on with, with Jupiter. Is there a, a, a reasonable logical explanation or is there something strange going on? Um, here we see uh, Jupiter, this is um, 18 minutes past 7 p.m. daylight saving time New Zealand. Uh, my location is set to Wellington, New Zealand and we can see that Jupiter is just on the horizon, it's about to rise. So we're looking northeast at the moment. Remember I'm in the southern hemisphere, which means that from my point of view, Jupiter and the sun and the moon and the planets will appear to cross over in the northern sky. If I'm in the northern hemisphere then I've got the opposite view where the planets appear to cross over in the southern sky. If I'm near, nearer the equator then they will be uh, crossing over more or less directly overhead. Okay so this is a southern hemisphere view. I've got Jupiter centered and what I want to do is I'm going to speed up time so that we can uh, watch Jupiter um, cross the sky. So we're going from the northeast and just keep an eye on the time there as we can see we're coming up to 9 p.m. at the moment and I want you to notice the the line the green line is the um, ecliptic which is the apparent path that the Sun and the planets take across the sky notice it's starting to flatten out now as we're at the midpoint and uh, now it is actually sort of tilting the other way this is because of the rotation of the Earth. So here we are. I'm just going to stop this in a minute. We're looking um, west northwest now. Jupiter is about to um, is about to set in the northwest. Um, and again, that's a southern hemisphere view. The other thing to notice is we've got Orion here, and we can see the the, the belt, Orion's belt, the three stars here. We can see the um, the, the three stars, well it's actually two stars in the nebula really, and Orion, if I zoom this in for you, um, you can see Orion clearly there, we've got the three stars along the bottom. This is also known as the pot, a lot of people are familiar with this as the pot instead of Orion, but I want you to notice the angle of the stars on the bottom of the pot there, or Orion's belt, and also in the, the handle of the pot, or Orion's sword. Okay, I'm going to run this backwards again so that you can have another look at that. I've just got a center Jupiter. Okay, so as I run it backwards, just keep an eye on this line here, the ecliptic line, and also the angle of the stars in Orion. And you'll notice that as we go backwards, the angle of Orion is going to change considerably. So looking at these stars here, um, you can see that they're going to be upright soon, going to be vertical. I'll pause it when we get to that point. Okay, so now we can see that the stars in Orion here in the sword or the handle of the pot, whatever you want to call it, um, are basically vertical. I'll carry on. We're going backwards again, remember. And you can see that the those stars are now actually tilting to the right and the three stars in Orion's belt, probably a bit hard to see now. In fact, I'll turn off the daylight, uh, really hide daylight. You can see that the three stars in Orion's belt now are actually horizontal, whereas before they were almost vertical when they were over here. Okay, so let's carry on. Remember that I've turned off the daylight, so this point in time it would be getting lighter. This time we're going to do the same thing but I'm going to zoom right into Jupiter. I've shown you what happens as Jupiter crosses the sky. This time we're going to zoom right in and see what happens to Jupiter. Okay so here's a good zoomed up view. Again keep an eye on the time here. It is 
coming up 20 to 8 p.m. Um, and we can see the, the cloud belts on Jupiter. Remember this is not a live view, it's just a simulated view um, in Starry Night Pro, but it, it's still accurate as to what we'd see if we're looking through a telescope. So again I'm going to run this forward and I want you to watch what happens to the angle of those cloud belts as Jupiter progresses across the sky. So 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, coming up 12 o'clock. Here we go. I'm just going to pause it there and I'm going to zoom back out again so we can see where Jupiter is in the sky. Okay, so we can see that we're looking north again. I'm in the southern hemisphere, so that's why it's in the north. So Jupiter is it's come from here it's following the ecliptic line and as it does we can see the tilt of those um, cloud belts are actually changing so now that you can see where Jupiter is in the sky I'm going to zoom back in again and we'll carry on and as you can see Jupiter is now tilting the other way um, coming up 2 a.m. 3 a.m. So now we're completely tilted the other way, aren't we? So this is actually what's going on. I'm going to zoom back out again. The other thing that can affect the apparent tilt of the planets, such as Jupiter or Saturn or any of the others, of course it's a bit easier to tell with Jupiter and Saturn because of their features, um, but the other thing that can affect the apparent tilt are the relative positions around the Sun. Um, obviously when we're looking um, at Jupiter from the Earth, well six months later the Earth is going to be on the other side of the Sun so our relative viewing angle is going to be different and the orbits of the planets are not flat with the plane of the Sun um, they are at a tilt, the, the, the tilt of the, the orbits of the planets do vary and so this means at different times of the year the relative uh, tilts between the orbits of the, the planets are going to be different so when you look at Jupiter or Saturn at different times of the year then the apparent tilt will be different. So as we can see there are three main factors that affect the apparent tilt. The first one is the position of the planet in the sky as we've seen from this video. The second one is our latitude or our position on the Earth and our relative viewing angle depending on whether we're standing on our feet or standing on our heads so to speak if you're in the southern hemisphere. Um, the third thing is the, the tilt of the orbits around the Sun and the, the position of the planets at the different times of the year. And then to add a fourth thing is whenever we take pictures of the planets through a telescope we attach a camera obviously and the orientation of the camera can also be different. Um, if the camera is slightly rotated on the telescope then obviously the, the tilt will appear to be different as well. This is the same as if you're taking a photograph with your camera and you're holding it, instead of holding it upright or horizontal you are holding it say at a 45 degree angle, it's the same sort of thing. So hopefully this has helped uh, clear up those questions and uh, if there are any questions please leave a comment and as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X, Vortex I'll put a link in the description area for you. Thank you for watching.